I was surprised to, to hear that uh, because that has never been um, part of any Russian strategy or part of any Russian policy. On the contrary, it's something that I've been telling many people, including some of your colleagues of the media, is that Russia wants a strong and united European Union, a forward-looking European Union, focusing on a better relationship with my country, uh, and perhaps more independent in its decision-making. Next, I'd like to ask you about Russian actions in Syria. A top UN official today has said that crimes of historic proportions are being committed in eastern Aleppo. That's a reference to the air campaign being carried out by Russia and by the Syrian government. What's your response to that comment? Oh, well, the Russians are not bombing East Aleppo. Uh, and At all? Yes, because uh, both the Russian uh, Air Force and the Syrian Air Force have unilaterally stopped well, their air campaign. Of course that's happening campaign. this week, but you know full well that yes. over the last few months you've been attacking Eastern Aleppo. Uh, yes, there is uh, still uh, a lot of terrorist activity in that part of the city. But you know, uh, back in August, not so long ago... But sir, with respect, let me you're, finish. Not, you're not killing let... terrorists, you're killing civilians, aren't you? Hundreds and hundreds of them. Uh, we are not targeting any civilians anywhere. I didn't say you were targeting civilians, but the consequence is, for instance, last month the UN says airstrikes on Aleppo killed almost 100 children. Are you saying that the death of those children is a price worth paying for Russia's place on the world stage? Uh, we're not talking about Russia's place on the world stage. That's not the aim of what Russia is doing uh, in Syria. What Russia is doing is assisting uh, at the request of the legitimate government of that country, assisting its fight against terrorism. I'd also like to ask you about these Russian naval ships going through the English Channel today. Can you tell me where they're going? Well, I would presume they are on a long-range uh, cruise. Uh, some of them may be going to the Mediterranean, which is uh, the closest uh, itinerary between uh, the Baltic Sea or the, uh, the northern, for the no Russian Northern Fleet to go, but they are not crossing any state boundaries. Would you anticipate they take part in Russia's military operations in Syria? Uh, I wouldn't exclude that.